we got our first scenic bridge going over the creek. Definitely has an epic winter wonderland feel to it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let me stop here. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Let me come over here. Oh, that is delightful. Got the bridge with this old forest growth. And let's continue along. Epic bridge creek crossings. So we just did one of them. We're doing the next one now. You'll do some nice views from the bridge when you look down on the creek. The creek. Oh, this one's barely a trickle. Stop and take a look. Not much going on here. More kind of like stagnant water. Can't even really tell that that's a creek, but in theory, a creek runs through it. And we're entering the more epic forest proper. Man, this is icy. This is super icy. <laughs> I'm so glad I have Yak Track Summit. I would not even try this. And this is not a paid endorsement. I have no endorsements. But nonetheless, I'm going to mention a product if it's awesome. And Yak Tracks or Micro Spikes, got to use them on this one or you're up a creek. Not in a fun way. So it kind of has a dark feel. It's because it's right around sunrise right now. Just getting started on this hike. Um, about 710, 715-ish. Something kind of cool and spooky about this area. I'm digging the, the vibe I'm getting from this place. The ambiance. This area could go horror movie very quickly. I think it's a combination of the still pretty light, ice everywhere, these old growth kind of spooky trees with moss on them. And Quite beautiful, I gotta say. Digging it. And here's our third bridge. Again, a very minor trickle. Nothing too crazy. Down there, very dormant. Kind of good mosquito breeding grounds, to be honest with you. It's not a concern this time of year, but probably wouldn't want to be on these bridges around June. I should look to donate some blood. Beautiful old growth classic forest. This entire hike is subalpine, technically. That is barely a trickle. Barely a trickle. That will be heavier later in the winter. Um, or should I say more end of winter, spring. Right, we're on to our fifth bridge. They definitely were not shy with their bridges in this section. Five pretty cool bridges in a relatively short period of time. This one's got a little bit more of a flow to it. Let's take a look. Actually, at Running Creek, it's got that relaxing sound. Look at that. Not really raging, keeping it real, but pretty. And here is our sixth bridge. It's a bridge-laden area. Come over here and see. Yeah, again, minor trickle. Give us a little bit of that relaxing nature sound. Here is bridge number seven. Nothing too crazy. By my count, this is number eight. Eight bridges so far. Stop here and take a look at the creek. I always like to come to the edge and get the perspective from the bridge. That's always going to be your floating over water look. Very pretty. 
again, there's nothing, I wouldn't say these are epic, like by a wilderness standard, um, but they're pretty. Huge chunk of this so far, and we're still kind of in the first mile, but the huge chunk has been sheet of ice. So this would literally be impossible without proper footwear, without proper traction control device. So I wouldn't even risk it if I were you, that's highly dangerous. Another exposed icy section. The sections that are underneath the tree canopy are obviously more exposed, so they're going to be more weathered, more ice and snow as we navigate up the forest. This would technically be our ninth crossing, although I'm not going to call this a bridge because there's no railings and not any flow to speak of. More of an old growth trickle, I'll call that. And lo and behold, bridge number 10. This one's actually got railings. I'll stop here and look at that, it's beautiful. And slip over the railing down on the trickle. But I think the prettier side is frankly over here, look at that. This is one of the raging creek sections of our 10 bridges. Absolutely beautiful.